Hello, welcome to Art One. My name is Mrs. Nalkioni. This is my 10th year teaching, my sixth year teaching at Nutley High School, and um, I'm very excited to be here and working with your students in Art One. So let's learn a little bit about the course. These are some of the apps and websites that we'll be using this school year. I create video tutorials on YouTube and then we watch them through Edpuzzle. It's a way to create video quizzes. Artsonia is our online portfolio and then there's some other um, apps and websites students may use for digital drawing or uh, editing photographs. So this is what my YouTube channel looks like. So I'll upload videos there and then students are to watch them through Edpuzzle. And if they need to go back to access any of the information from a video, they can always go to YouTube to watch it. So they don't have to, um, they can fast forward and pause and rewind as much as they need to, to get the information they need. This is what our school's Artsonia page looks like. So it's a really great resource for students to uh, monitor their progress throughout the year, uh, to reflect on their process through writing about their art. And it's a wonderful way for parents to see what students are working on um, of course, now you'll see what they're working on because they're home with you, but um, this is also a way you can buy items with their artwork on it, which make great gifts. And this is what my Schoology page looks like. So there are different folders broken up by week and um, different folders for any of the websites that we need. Uh, there's also a folder with the course syllabus that you can access. So basically, Art One is a class designed to build on a student's drawing and painting skills so they can further continue their career in the arts and eventually get to Advanced Art or AP Art Studio. Overall, the goals of this course are to understand the elements of art and principles of design and how they're applied to the specific media that we are using, to develop our drawing and painting skills, develop our understanding of color theory, create a portfolio, and just build on our art skills. Currently, our class format is we meet in the morning, we complete daily draw sketchbook activities, and then we use that time for discussions, for questions, to review instructions, and then also to work on our projects together. So if you walk by and it seems eerily quiet, uh, don't worry, I don't lecture for the entire 45 minutes. We just use that time to work together. Students can show me what they're working on, ask questions, um, and then our small group and afternoon sessions can be used for extra help as well as independent time to review ed puzzles or instructional videos and to prepare for the next day or to continue working on long-term projects. We will be providing your student with supplies for the course. They are responsible for them and they are responsible for returning them at the end of the school year just like they would with any other textbook. So right now, this is what we are aiming to provide for each student in the class. Um, a sketchbook and a variety of materials and surfaces to work on. For my grading policy, this is a pretty large document that you can review in detail. Um, but basically, our assignments are broken up into four different types. We have sketchbook assignments, studio habits, and ed puzzles. Those range in value from one to 10 points. And then our final projects are 10 to 50 points. So depending on the length of time or the intensity of the project will dictate what that point value is. One thing I do want to touch on is that uh, sketchbooks and studio habits and ed puzzles can be submitted up to three days late um, for half credit only. Uh, if a missing is still listed in the gradebook, it's eligible to be made up. If it changes to a zero, it's no longer eligible to be made up because we don't want to be going back and doing assignments from September and November. Um, but even if an assignment's not turned in for credit, it may still be required for a student to complete a project. So for example, maybe they had an ed puzzle to watch, but they didn't do it on time. They still need to do that work in order to complete the final project correctly and that final project is worth a lot more, so you want to make sure you're doing that to the best of your ability. Rubrics are posted along with the assignment in Schoology. Um, I have some generic ones we can take a look at, but basically um, we look at a variety of criteria based on the assignment and they're all posted there. I do encourage students to look at them before beginning a project and before submitting a project to make sure that they have addressed all of the requirements of the assignment. 
Um, in this digital age that we're living in, it may be easy to take images from the internet to turn in as our own. However, that will not be tolerated in this class. Uh, we are requiring process photos to be submitted. So as a student's working on something, every day they work on that project, they should be submitting a process photo to Schoology. Um, and we don't want to be turning in any work that's not our own. Here's an example of some of my rubrics. These are basically general rubrics. They are posted in Schoology, but again, a specific rubric for each project will also be posted with the project. So how do we help support our students during the school year? Uh, we want to encourage them to stick to their schedules, to be on time and to meet deadlines, help them set up a designated workspace. So when we were working on our projects, we want a nice sturdy table, good lighting. Um, we don't really want oil pastels in our beds. Uh, so um, I promise I won't have them doing too many messy things at home, uh, but we do want to have a nice workspace. I would encourage them to have their camera on and to speak up when they have questions and live meets, encourage them to use office hours and hangouts, and ask them to show you our learning platform Schoology. And be sure to ask your, question, your student questions about what they're working on, and then you can also start to leave comments on Artsonia. It's a lot of fun when students get to be proud of their artwork and, and parents are um, you know, commending them for their efforts. So for our virtual classroom expectations, sort of just went all, over all of this, but we want to be on time and be ready to work, just as we would for a normal studio class. We want a good workspace, have our cameras on and mic muted. I need to see what they're working on, so it's kind of important that we have our cameras on, even if they're just pointed at their desk, so I can see what they're drawing or what they're working on. Um, and always ask questions, and our class mantra, be kind, be awesome, and try your best. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was informative. Um, I do look forward to working with your students. So far, we are working on some pretty fun things and I really look forward to all of the amazing things that we will create together this year. So thanks again, and please reach out if you have any questions or concerns. Have a great night.